Today we're going to be concentrating on the putting and chipping strategies of the short game. What we want to do is give you some basic fundamentals that you can uh, build on as you develop your own style. Putter heads are weighted differently so they can match the different style of putting strokes used by different golfers. When you take your stance over the ball like this, you want to have your eyes directly over the golf ball on the ground. When we're contacting the ball at the bottom of the arc, we're relying on the true loft of the putter to get the ball up and rolling. The first one that we'll look at is what is referred to as the straight back and straight through putting stroke. Some manufacturers believe you shouldn't have any loft at all on your putter face. Other top putter designers insist you need some type of loft to get the ball up and rolling properly. The ability to read the speed and break of a putting green can be a very valuable asset in the putting process. That's the uh, one we're really going to concentrate on here is using a certain club for that certain chipping situation. This club would be used in a situation where you need a very high trajectory and a very fast stopping ball. Now let's take a look at some different chipping and pitching situations that you might find around a normal putting green. To execute this shot correctly, you should have your shoulders, hips, feet all aligned to the left of the target line. This is basically how you would hit a very high soft landing lob shot that you need to stop quickly on the green. The sand shot is probably feared by more amateurs than any other shot in the game, but if you practice it and understand the techniques behind it, it can be one of the easiest shots to make. On a short bunker shot, you want to use an open stance, then open the club face to where it is pointing almost straight up in the air. On a buried lie, especially on an uphill slope, you must make contact with the sand very close to the ball, maybe only an inch behind it. Just knowing that you can get up and down from a lot of different situations around the green can really boost your confidence.